right, I feel lucky. All right, we're gonna open this thing up. It's warmed up. And here we go. Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette. I've got a really great 67 Corvette convertible here. This is a real red 67 as per the original trim tag. It shows a black interior here, but originally it was a tuxedo. A tuxedo is a black dash, black carpets with white seat covers and white door panels. Uh, this is not the first tuxedo interior to be changed to black. And the reason being is white is really hard to keep clean. And <laughs> ask me how I know. I had almost, well, pretty much the identical car, uh, but was a 390, uh, and that had the white interior, and it was just, just it was impossible to keep clean. That said, super rare combination, and, and really a pretty combination. And it would not take much to bring it back to that if you wanted to do that. Right now it has Repro leather seat covers on there and Repro uh, door panels, but it is a real red car, nice clean car overall, nice clean body, and just a really nice, honest car all around. It's a 350 horse, uh, it's a matching engine, drive line. Uh, not a lot of options. It's not a real piped car. And these wheels, I mean, anybody can tell the reproductions inside the veins are not painted the gray. So it's got a little extra, you know, a little extra shine to it. Uh, they're actually polished that is not how they looked originally but it looks good it's a driver high level driver car so we can accept that uh, the reproduction uh, red line uh, bias plies on it but it's got the right look so uh i don't have any paperwork on the car in terms of a build sheet or anything but it uh, it definitely is an original trim tag car and uh you know a, a 350 horse so with all that said uh, you know it, it it's um the car has been restored to a certain extent, uh, not, not to a 99-point NCRS level, but nice overall restoration. It's got original parts on it, like the dash pads. So it was a nice, honest car to start with. And we've maintained the car for a while now, and the, uh, the prior owner uh, just felt like it was time to move on to uh, a, a newer car, newer Corvette, actually. And here we are. So. We're gonna take this thing out. Uh, like I said, it's got repro bias buys on it, so I'm gonna be gentle with it. So without uh, anything further, we're gonna take this thing out for drive um, and just see how it performs. All right, so that thing went right up to high idle. It had been uh, warmed up a little bit, but I reset the auto, went right back up as it should. The parking brake uh, actually holds as it should. I say that like I'm surprised and frankly, yes. Not a lot of them work as they should. It's got a quartz movement in the clock. So this thing, you know, it's been it's been properly maintained. All the little picky stuff has been addressed on it. Um, if you can jump in a car like this and the clock and the parking brake work, you know it had a meticulous owner. This car feels good overall. Shifts nice. Generally appears like a stock correct car. And this is a perfect day to, to drive something like this. Now, this car had a hard top on it at some point, did not come with it. Um, so that's something that, that could be added. I don't have any hard tops. I always sell the cars with the tops that they come in with. I just don't like having them around. You know, a lot of dealers try to pick up an extra thousand, two thousand bucks that way, uh, but I try to include them when they come with it. But unfortunately, that was not included in the deal that I got here. So it's got a nice convertible top, but not not a hard top. Now it's showing 82,945 miles. I, I believe that's the original mileage, but I just can't, can't tell you at this point.
and it see, feels pretty good. It, it goes down the road like it's on bias ply tires, but it it doesn't feel unsafe. It's just a little a little loose, like like how they perform, and that's just the nature of it. All right, I don't usually make that light. I feel lucky. All right, we're gonna open this thing up. It's warmed up, and here we go. That's right up to 6,500, just about. We blew out a little bit of carbon and black smoke, but that thing uh, ran just up the way it should. And this car feels nice. We're cruising at just over 50 miles an hour, and it's effortless. turn signal indicators work the canceller works the brakes feel good like I said th this car was owned by a, a very particular type person and it just it, it feels right so that passes my test but I do like the car overall it feels right it doesn't have any surprises we did check it out it checked out really well but then again, we had been maintaining the car, so it damn well should have checked out okay. But a lot of times the cars sit, you know, gas will stagnate in there, and you know we've got to go through the fuel system. I don't, I don't think there was any anything of that nature that was uh, plaguing this car. So I think this thing's turnkey, ready to go, and. Again, you know, and then in the price range that this car is, is set at, it, it's, a, it's a real red car with a tuxedo interior, and they did not make that many of them. And uh, for that alone, it's, it's well worth the asking price and its overall condition. It's just, uh, you know, it's not going to be a high scoring NCRS car. It, it, it's got, you know, the incorrect wheels, the incorrect exhaust. Uh, incorrect seat covers. I don't think the thing would probably squeak in a top flight at this point, just with those those things. Um, and a couple of things under the hood are not uh, factory correct. The fuel lines are, are not uh, not original. It's got a holly on it uh, with uh, the uh, the dual feed type setup, uh, not the stock 600 with the tube feed. So a couple little things like that, but it, I'll tell you, it does run well, and uh, just a just a nice car overall, and a, a really a great car for the money. So check this one out if you're out there looking. Uh, there's not a lot of real red cars out there, and I, I promise you won't find one with a uh, an original tuxedo setup like this. So all right, so if you got an interest, uh, let us know, and uh, thanks for watching the video. And always, please, subscribe. Always new stuff coming in. Thanks for watching.